Hey guys, it's Hazel Tail, and we finally made it to the end of September. Well, kind of, because I'm filming this a week in advance, so by the time this is up, it will be the end of September. And please excuse my voice, I'm actually kind of sick, and yeah, I can't do anything about it, so I'm sorry if it bothers you. But I actually kind of went crazy shopping this month, it was really bad of me. This isn't even including the Halloween stuff because I'm going to be filming a different video showing you all of the Halloween stuff. Which, by the way, includes my nails and some of the background. I'm also going to have a separate haul that is all Dollar Tree stuff and if it's up already I'll link it somewhere on the screen and if it's not it will be probably... Well, it's actually probably up already so I'll link somewhere on the screen. I kind of have a lot to go through so I think I'll just start with what I got first. I got a few things from Amazon, mostly, actually entirely nail polishes that were limited edition from last year that you can't get anymore. They're all from OPI also. I got the Rock Goddess collection again, and I looked online and I'm pretty sure these colors were only ever released as minis, and I just, I fell in love with all of them and they're so beautiful, plus you get a nice little bracelet right there. I got the four set that I didn't get last year, four set, that sounds kind of weird, the collection of four mini nail polishes, and they're all really dark and kind of similar to the dark shade in this one. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. But they're all kind of different, and I've just been obsessed with neutral sparkly colors lately. So I got this one, and then I got the liquid sand trio from the same collection which I already have and I have a manicure already of I think silent 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 stars go by and if I do I will link it somewhere on the screen somewhere the bottles are so tiny that I really need another one because I already had used it a couple times the silent stars go by and it's already half empty I don't think these are necessarily a good deal and I would have bought the full size but the two I wanted, Silent Stars Go By and Make Him Mine, the full sizes are actually going from around $25 to like $40 online. I And I don't think they're re-releasing them this year, so... I just bought the minis because I will use them sparingly and look for dupes and not pay $40 plus dollars for one nail polish. Then I just got a couple things from Ulta and... I guess I'll start with the nail polish. I got the OPI Nordic Collection quad thing. And I'm going to be doing a full video of swatches and reviews of this little quad. And this is actually for fall and winter for them, so this will be up probably sometime after Halloween, but like very shortly after that. Then I just got a couple nail polishes that I've already swatched and put on my Facebook. This first one is the Maybelline Color Show Veil in Teal Beam, and I don't know, I can't really describe it, it's just, it's not quite what I was expecting, I thought it was going to be stronger. And the next one I got is just a permanent color, and it is punk rock pink and it is probably supposed to be a jelly nail polish but I don't like jellies so I'll probably just use it as a glitter. And then the very last thing I got is the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. I have not been able to find this anywhere until like this month. It's been insane and I really want to try it because I think it's going to be similar to the primers I like and if it is that is going to save me some money. Then I guess we'll move on to Dollar General and their fun green bag. I got this Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Glitter and it is called Strobe Light and it's like a neutrally pink based glitter with some holographic thrown in. And then I got some Kiss Nail Wraps and they're like glittery galaxy and they have full strips and also French tips which is really good because I've only ever done one successful French manicure and it took a lot of work and I don't really have the patience for that. And then I just got a couple more things from there. I got the LA Colors eyeshadow palette in Chic, which is kind of a purpley based palette, but when I was there they had other ones that were labeled Chic that looked slightly different. They were mostly the same, but slightly different, so I don't know if one is newer or older, so if you guys know which version this is, that'd be really helpful if you would let me know somewhere in the comments, please. And then I just got a Wet n Wild eyeshadow in Brulee, 
it's just gonna be a nice highlight color probably it just was a little bit cheaper than it was at my Rite Aid so I decided to pick it up at Dollar General and speaking of Rite Aid I did get some stuff from there too I told you I was very bad this month I'm I'm sorry, I, I don't know what to tell you. At least you get to watch the pretty stuff. This I'm hoping to use for a video. It is the LA Colors Bows and Bling set. It is the black and pink one. And it's a nail art kit, and it actually has some fun three-dimensional bows up here. Again, this is probably going to come after Halloween because I really need to focus on those videos right now. And then I finally caved. I finally caved. I didn't think I wanted it, but I got it. I got the Maybelline The Nudes palette. And I didn't think I wanted it, but then I saw it in person, and it was just so pretty, and I couldn't pass it up. And I'm probably going to be doing a lot of tutorials with this in the future. And then going back to nails, I got these Girly Glam Fingers Prints press-on nails. I have no idea what the full name is. And I think they're for children, but I actually kind of have small nails, like... The ones I'm wearing are slightly too big for me right now. I think I just put on the wrong size, but they're fun polka dot ones, and they actually come with some charms, and they're around the same price as the Impress nails, but they come with the charm. And then I got a few nail polishes, and I'm actually trying to film an updated um, nail polish storage video, and maybe even a full collection video in the future. And just let me know in the comments if you'd like to see something like that. But the first color I got is... A very 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 light mint it is called mint sorbet and it's actually the lightest shade of green I've ever seen in a nail polish and it's quite pretty and then in the same display they had another one of the hardest nails extreme wear and it's a bright pinky coral color and it is called coral reef then I wanted to try out the big glitter top coat because it looked interesting and it already has hair stuck on it from my animals. It's a kind of gold and white glitter and the flakes are very 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 small. And then I got some more glitters. This one I actually saw on top of the mint and I fell in love with it. The glitter is Sally Hansen Color Frenzy in Splattered and it's a very 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 unique color. It's got golds and bronze and I think pastel pink and black glitters all in there and it looks fairly dense and the glitters are all small and then I got one final nail polish from there and that's the last thing I got from Rite Aid it is an LA Girl Splatter nail polish and it's a white and gold one called Sparkle and the pieces are a little bit bigger than the other glitters before but again lots of different colors okay we're almost done. I promise you. There is just one more store. It is Walgreens. I had like run out of my dry shampoo and I couldn't get to Ulta. So I went to Walgreens and I bought some of my Batiste dry shampoo because I ran out of my other one. I actually got two and the other is already back in my vanity area waiting to be used. Or actually not waiting to be used, already used. But I get the clean and classic original scent. And then I had run out of my Sinful Colors Black on Black. So I just picked up another bottle of it. It is their basic black cream. But it's also part of their Halloween collection, which I was not aware of at the time. I have a few others from their Halloween collection, but that will be in the actual Halloween video. I did get a couple more Sinful Colors polishes though. I got this like teal color. It has the finest sheen to it. It is gorgeous up close, and I feel like it'll be beautiful in the winter time. And it is called Mint Apple, and I think it's more of a teal than a mint, but that's just me. And then I bought this last one in the hopes that it would be similar to one of the Mariah Carey Liquid Sand Nail Polishes. It's not quite the same, like the glitter is not as strong, but it's still really pretty, and I like it a lot. And then I bought a couple Sally Hansen glitters from there. And you're probably going to think I'm crazy, but I bought this one from the Complete Salon Manicure line that is actually very, very, very similar to the Splatter one, which I didn't really realize before. Excuse me for my sniffles. They actually are different. It's kind of hard to see the difference, but I think there is one, and to me it's justified getting both of them. Plus, I didn't really realize that I had both, to be perfectly honest. If they end up being exactly the same after I swatch them, I will definitely let you guys know and make like a video telling you about it. And then I just got one final glitter 
it is called pink dream and it's kind of similar to the pink I got from Ulta from Maybelline but the glitters are much bigger and they're much more holographic and it's more of an orange based glitter than a pink anyway that's it you made it to the end of the haul congratulations I love you so much if you made it to the end please give this video a thumbs up if you made it all the way with me not all the way with me you know what I mean I just realized that one of my nails popped off at some point while I was filming that's beautiful please forgive me for that that's really awkward sorry anyway if there are any videos you'd like to see especially especially Halloween videos be sure to leave them in the comments or private message me and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more from me and don't forget to check out all my different social media accounts they're always listed at the end of the video and in the description down below I love you guys bye Itchy, 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 itchy.